No, this is not a clickbait title. We actually were down 30 points in the fourth quarter, and we may have come back. You'll have to stick around to see the end of the video. Yo, what's good, Joe? Welcome back to another video. Coach Steve here. I was out here playing some muscle with my guy Tanner, and this is literally one of the most insane games I've ever played in. I swear to God, every single day I come up and play a new, more insane game. This is literally the most insane game I've ever played in. Stop the cap! <laughs> Really quick before we do get into the video, if you guys want to send Madden clips to me that I can react to and put in future videos, Discord link in the description down below. Make sure you go click on it, join the Discord, and you can start sending your clips to the Clips channel. Without any further ado though, let's get into it. Alright, first and 10, starting out this game, he gets ball. We are in the Super Bowl, so the stakes are at the highest that they can possibly be. We have to lock in and do everything right. He's going to start this game off with an RPO, Stefan Diggs gets... Damn! Tanner is playing defense. I am running offense, by the way. I don't think I m mentioned that. He runs a double corner out. All right, so we're just going to mute this because my fucking controller mic is actually, it's like a megaphone in my goddamn ear right now. Like, I don't want to hear all that. First and 15. I've never seen somebody so, like, scared to actually make a read. Dude is just running the same RPO every single time. Second and five inside the 10 now. Probably going to go back to the RPO. Yeah, this dude's like absolutely clueless. He just keeps going to the RPO. Walk-in touchdown for Dre Archer, though. Don't know why Tanner's running dollar inside the 10-yard line, but here we are. <laughs> this motherfucker did a fake field goal and actually completed it, and they're celebrating. All right, you got it, guys. First and 10, we're going to start this game out with a run. We're going up against 6-1 defense. He does have avalanche on Gronk, so that's something that we have to watch out for him. Because if we get hit sticked even on conservative, we're going to fumble. First and 10, slowly moving this ball down the field. He's going to dollar now. Sends a little blitz. Oh, no. Picked off by Anton Winfield Jr. That's just kind of an unfortunate break. Tanner was open. I threw it to him. The ball just kind of got thrown behind him. And Tanner didn't slow down to adjust to it. Second and goal here from the 11. And he just insta throws a wheel route and it's open. Stefan Diggs touchdown. That's just way too easy. That's way too easy. And here's the thing too is this isn't my defense. So I would be doing things differently. The best way to guard against this is man coverage. So in this situation, me personally, what I would have done is I would have went to man coverage. I would have pressed down and I would have just had us use the safeties and just guard our zones. First and 10 here. We got to, you know, we're still down. It's still early though. We don't, we got to just start moving the ball a little bit. Vic drops back, glitch pressure comes, wow, and then Yao Ming just jumps up and picks the ball off. And again, bro, I'm gonna, like, keep repeating this until EA, like, ends up fixing it for good. And every, like, idiot that, like, decides to say that I'm in, I'm dumb and I'm just trash at the game, observe. Tell me how this is not a glitch pressure right here. Let's just watch. Everybody, everybody observe. What in Christ's name is my right guard and center doing? Are they fucking? Is that what they're doing? Is that why they're not blocking this guy? This is not good defense. Sorry, sorry to break it to you, your little fucking meta minds. It's not good defense. It's trash, it's garbage, it's glitch. Harold Carmichael, you are him though, I will give you that. All right, we end up holding them to a third and 14 here. Let's see what defense we're going with. We're going with a little bit of pressure. I think my assignment is to pick up this running back right here. It is. I end up taking the corner route. Wow. And we don't get an interception on that, bro. This dude is blind, bro. Dude, dude's doing his best Helen Keller impression right now. Kick is up. Kick is good. I thought that was going to go right. 18-0 game at the end of the first quarter. This is very, very ugly on, on offense. It's bad on defense because it's so bad on offense right now. So I can't really blame Tanner for any of this right now. We have to go for this right here, fourth and 10. Looks like we're just gonna try to set up a little bit of a chase concept, try to get a little hole shot. It's only sending three, Ricky is open. But the deep end zone KO is going to end up taking it out. Water bottle, are you in the way? God damn it, dude. Is this is what I mean when I say run the ball early before you get down too far. This is not too far away. Like if we, we should be running the ball here because it's what's going to work the best. He is sticking to just straight dollar. He's only putting four people on a rush. A run is going to gash this no matter what. I promise you, run is going to gash this. Instead, we're sitting here forcing passes into dropped down zone coverage. That's just not going to get open. None of this is going to get open. We have to run the ball here 
to make him blitz more people to get more spots for the passes to get open. First and 10, this is uh, just ugly overall. We're gonna go with the blitz here. Presses Darius Hayward Bay, just cooks him. That should be a touchdown, I don't even know how he's not in. Just gonna hand the ball off to Dree Archer, walk in touchdown. Good Lord, man, 25-0. Oh, I lied, they're going for two. Man coverage is smart here though. Wow, Stefan Diggs is just him. He's just making the greatest catches ever. Now it's 26-0. Bro, and they're doing onside kicks? Yeah, dude. That's wild. At least we get it though. At least we get it. Randy Moss gets it. First and 10 here. He's after the two minute warning. He's going to go to 6 1 defense. We're just going to quick hike a, a stock streak here. Easy money. That seam is open every single time. And finally, we're on the board. Now it's 7 to 26. Second and nine here. Lux still driving down the field. 22 seconds left. He's going to hike the ball. We're sending a little bit of extra pressure. Throws the wheel. Oh my God. 33 7 going into halftime. Welcome to the halftime break. If you guys made it this far in the video, that means you're probably enjoying. So seriously consider hitting that like and subscribe button. The reason I say this is because 97% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Why is this not focusing? Nonetheless, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. And let's get on with the rest. First play coming out of halftime. We get ball. So we absolutely 100% need to score here. Got a corner out wide open. What's wrong with you? Doesn't matter though, because deep out zone KO just knocks it out. Like I, I love, I love abilities, how they can be fun and shit, but dude, God damn it. It is so annoying when you have a wide open player and it just gets knocked out because the game has terrible animations. If we're going to have deep out zone KO and all that shit, we need to make the animations animate how they're supposed to. Like a possession catch, you catch it, get down. So you don't get knocked out. Like that's how it should be. I don't understand why possession cats catches catch the ball and then like stand up for 85 years before they get down on the ground. Third and 10 here. Very, very early chance of getting four and outed. I mean, like, like brother, what what do I do about this? Look at the center. Look at the center and look at the D tackle. Dude, he literally just glitches off of the block and then sacks me. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, there's just no, like, sensible reason why that would happen. Third and 21 here, just desperation time. Vic, under pressure and accurate, gets thrown literally straight to the defense. And Harold Carmichael is going to set up his our opponent right inside the, the five-yard line. Wow, f kneeling the ball is crazy right here. Kneeling the ball is so disrespectful, bro. This is That's embarrassing that this is happening to us right now. You kneeled on the wrong person, bro. You should not have did this. Third and goal after kneeling twice. We're going to send a little bit of pressure here. Still don't like that we're in dollar, but it's not my defense. Trying to go with the out route, DRC with the pick. Thank God. Get up, DRC. Get up, DRC. Get up, DRC. You old bastard, bro. Get up and run. That's a pick six. Great interception by DRC, though. Hey, Jack, can we, like, lock the fuck in and, like, maybe get some points for the uh, team here? First and 10 after the interception. Like, we are in need of just anything at this point. He's going with 6-1 defense. Vic surveying. Throws a dot to Shannon Sharp. Ooh, what a move by Ankh. What a move by Unk. Unk out in the open space. Makes a man miss. Cuts back. Makes two man men miss. And Unk is in for the touchdown. At least we're scoring now, okay? That's like something we need. We just need a little bit of momentum to get the ball rolling here. Second and 10. We're still sending pressure. Pressure has seemed to work in these situations. So I like that Tanner is sending more pressure and trying to make him make bad passes. Throws the drag route to Tony Gonzalez. Gonzalez makes a man miss. No. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Come on, DRC, catch him, catch him, catch him. And he just doesn't. He breaks the tackle. Tony G, 74-yard touchdown. I mean, holy shit, dude. PAT, it's a fake. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be a fake? And he's wide open. And he's going to get it. 41-14 game, bro. First and 10. At this point, just go score and see what happens. That's all we got to do. Vic throwing a corner out, possession catch, gets down. See, when that's that's a possession catch. That's what I want to see every single time from a possession catch, just so I don't get knocked out by that ability. First and 10, 
for going with the run now wow see i feel like now it's just too it's it's too late to be going to the run dude you should have been doing this in the second quarter when it was a, a two score or a three score game why run now you know what i mean but you know what running is what's gonna work best against dollars so why not stick with it that's the equivalent to a 10 yard drag right there that's a 10 yard run i'll take that sure the clock keeps running but it's what's working just do it i mean it seems crazy to be running the ball right here but it is what is going to work most likely great run from ricky right there gets a huge gain 20 yard game these are the biggest gains we've been seeing from the offense the entire day the entire game so why not keep doing it another run ricky get your fat ass out the way ruben jesus five seconds here are we gonna hike this ball we are gonna hike this ball try to maybe get a little cheesy route out of it vic running around throws it on the run to randy moss with the catch i'm sorry that's darius hayward bay Darius Hayward Bay down to the one yard line. Observe the score, observe the situation. We are down 41 to 14 at the very start of the fourth quarter, but we are at the one yard line. We're subbing in the big boys. We're getting a couple extra linemen out on the field, which means we're gonna run this fucking ball. I'm telling you, I'm going to run. Let's see if you can stop it. Hand off to Ricky Williams up the middle. Touchdown. 41-20 game. We're gonna try to go for two here. At this point, you just need to stack up as many points as possible. Hand off to Ricky, and he just doesn't fight for it. Me personally, like in my situation, my current 160 pound, six foot build, I'm fighting for that that two point conversion. That's just me though. I, you know, I'm not an NFL player, so I can't argue against that. You shut the fuck up. I'm gonna go for an onside kick here. More said. Ball is up. Catch is made. Ball's knocked out on the ground. TJ misses, and it's picked up by Julius Brents. First and 10 after the recovered onside kick. We're sticking with what's working. Ricky Williams on an outside zone. A little bit of a stutter step, but it doesn't matter. He's an angry runner. Gotta go hurry up here. Going back to the same exact play we just ran a couple plays ago. Throwing a laser beam to the... Oh my god, that's a dot. And I'm not gonna lie, this is not a catch, ref. Ref, this is not a catch, ref. One... Bro, he gets two feet down and then not, the ball gets knocked out. That's not a catch ref. Going sky kick, aiming it in between the hash marks. Ball is up. Caught. Knocked on the ground again. Oh my goodness. Who are you? Number 23 falls on the ball and we get another onside kick and we're at the 42 yard line. First and 10. And look at this. We have hot route master with Michael Vick and it cannot be deactivated because that's what the ability is. Not really sure what we're doing here. He's only sending three though. We got plenty of time. Throwing a laser beam across the middle of the field. Possession catch gets down. Julio at the seven yard line. First and goal. We go hurry up. Quieting the crowd even though we're not at home. Actually, I think we are at home. RPO to Randy Moss. Randy Moss gets a good block from Julio, and he's in for the touchdown. And all of a sudden, down 27 points. We are in a one-score game with this guy in their Super Bowl. Now, we're going to kick this ball off. We're going to put some trust in our defense. We're going to put some trust in Tanner to go ahead and get a stop for us. I like this call. We're not going to get onside kicks every single time. It was pretty amazing that we got two in a row, but damn, get down. Second and nine, putting a couple adjustments on the field and still sending pressure. Tanner picks up the drag route nicely. Rolling out. Nobody's open. Oh my goodness, this dude's a fucking idiot. Oh my God, this guy's a fucking idiot. What is he doing? Third and two, he's sitting in dollar defense and we're going with the run. See, this is this is a smart thing to do. He's sitting in a in a in a terrible run defense. It's third and two. I'm gonna run this ball every time. Now we have our X Factor on our quarterback and our running back, dude. Going with this little play action play that we've been doing that's been working pretty well. Out route's not there. Drag route's not there. Got all the time in the world though. O-line's blocking great. We have X, we have X, we have X. Oh my god, we're not throwing it. Oh no, Jack. No, Michael Vick fumbles. Oh my god, and Will Hernandez falls on the ball. Dude, we had X wide open. I think I didn't want to throw on the run right there, though, just because of an inaccurate pass. 
Two seconds on the play clock. We're going to run this ball right up the middle. Ricky Williams, huge run, makes a man miss, breaks a tackle down to the two-yard line, and we're going to use our first timeout. First end goal from the two-yard line. Can you stop the run? No, the fuck you can't. That's Ricky Williams into the end zone. Tie fucking game. Oh, we're not taking the PAT. I'm getting peer pressure to go for two right now. What am I doing? This is so stupid. 6-1 defense. We're going to stick with the run. Honestly, it's been it's what's been working. If we're gonna go for two, I like a run call here. Oh no, and Ricky gets stopped. No way, bro. There's no way we come back from 27 points down in the fourth quarter, and this is how it wins. We're gonna try to go for an onside kick. Ball is up. A little too short. Oh my god. Oh my god, we got the onside kick. Oh my god, we got the onside kick. Wait, there's no way. Wait, there's no way. There's no way this is not their ball did he touch it first oh my god he touched the ball first 30 seconds left two timeouts at the 39 yard line all we need is a field goal second and 10 25 seconds left we have to get into field goal range this clock is not on our side right now we're utilizing that hot route master that we have throwing it to the hot, uh the texas route early ricky williams makes a man miss Gets down to the 44 yard line. We need four yards to get into field goal range. Going into trips. Tanner saying he is open. We're going to see if he beats his man here. Tanner beats his man. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? That's game over. We're in field goal range. Okay. Listen, a lot of you are going to sit here and call me out because I didn't throw this touchdown to Tanner right here, right? Hike the ball right there. You can tell this dude is in a cloud flat because he's not turning his hips and running with Tanner. There's no help here. I don't want to give this guy a chance. It's going to be tough for him to drive down the field and use his three timeouts and get into the end zone, but there's a chance that he can do it. That's the problem. So why not take the flat, which is also wide open, and try to chew up as much clock and waste all those timeouts that we can so that it makes it legitimately impossible for him to come back without a Hail Mary or some miracle, right? That's my thinking. Another thing that I'm thinking here is I have Martin Grammatica with an ability that slows the meter down on kicks over 45 yards. Right here, if I throw the streak and Tanner falls down at the one yard line, that ability isn't going to activate and it's going to make my kicks harder dude they were in their super bowl and they were up by 27 and now they're go they're about to lose huge run by tanner right there gets the first down down to the 31 yard line they're not even taking their timeouts clocks winding down we're going to take the timeout at two seconds and all we got to do is make this field goal grammatica comes out aims the kick it's right down the middle Kick is up, and it's right down the middle. Game over. We just came back down 27 at the start of the fourth quarter to beat these guys in the Super Bowl. There's no way. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this insane comeback. Okay, this genuinely has to be the best comeback you've ever seen. I don't care that it, the last video was the best comeback. This is the best comeback you've ever seen, and this is the best comeback in Madden. Don't care what you say. Thank you guys for watching, though. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Support your boy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.